Thank you very much again, Jim McKay. And now, let's get to the fight itself, to the one that has caused national controversy and national headlines throughout the past week. Let's go to the Central Maine Youth Center and fight announcer Johnny Addy. And the referee, ladies and gentlemen, the former heavyweight champion of the world, Jay-Z Joe Walcott. For the heavyweight championship of the world, the principals, introducing from Denver, Colorado, he's wearing black trunks, he weighs 215 and a quarter, the former heavyweight champion, and now the challenger, Sonny Liston, Liston. His opponent from Louisville, Kentucky. He's wearing white trunks. He weighs 206. The heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad Ali. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, J.C. Joe Walcott will now give the instructions. Gentlemen, this is a match you've both worked very hard for, and I know you're both in good condition. I'm not going to go with a lot of preliminaries. I know you both know the rules of Maine, so I'm in here to enforce them. So I'll say to you, keep your punches up, protect yourself at all times, good luck, shake hands, come out fighting. We're just about ready to go. Muhammad Ali sang a prayer in his corner before coming out to meet the challenger. And did you notice the way Liston was sweating under those hot lights? We're 15 seconds from the bell. Our ABC clock timing the fight will be superimposed at the bottom of your screens. Here we go. Tactics the same as in the first fight, established almost immediately. Clay moving consistently to the left, virtually in a... Close to one minute. One minute, the time officially proclaimed by the main boxing commission as the end of the fight. Good right by Clay. Did you see the punch? Did you see it? By the ABC clock, one minute, 53 seconds, was 10 seconds after Liston hit the canvas. Walcott never heard the official knockdown timekeeper. Liston never heard a count. Walcott leaves the fighters. Liston still has reflexes. Look at him duck. Now Walcott has gotten information that Liston was down for a count of 10 and more. And so the fight is over and Muhammad Ali is still the champion in a scene of bedlam, chaos, and confusion. confused is Jersey Joe Walt. The Liston frustration. 
bandages come off. There is the confused one. Champion adulation, interviews. Ladies and gentlemen, the timekeeper. The timekeeper counted out less than in one minute of the first round. One minute of the first round, the winner. One minute of the first round, the winner. By a knockout. And still. The heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad Ali. Isn't that incredible that they should call it one minute? Off come the champion's bandages now. And the champion tells the press exactly how he feels about at least some of them. You can hear the crowd chanting in the background, many young Bates College students among them. Now here he's going to talk with the other television commentator, Steve Ellis. Watch the game. All right, Cassius. Wait a minute, Wait a minute now. Mohammed Ali, better known as Cassius Clay. Mohammed, what was the punch that won it for you? You're a real champion at this point. Well, uh, the punch won the fight for me. Uh, well, I believe it was a left hook or a right cross. And one of the two, I really can't think because I was moving too fast. A left hook or a right cross? That's right. All right, now, did you think you were going to be able to do it in the first round? You did it in six rounds last well, time, Steve, Cassius. Well, did not tell the world that I had a surprise. And that if I told you the surprise, you would not come to the fight. With me were Almighty Allah and his messenger. And I've been uh, saying my prayers regular, living a righteous life. Right. And as you see, what happened? Oh, wait a minute. Now, let me ask you this, if I may. Cassius, wait a minute. Mohammed. Wait a minute. Mohammed. Mohammed. All right, no, wait. wait a minute. Okay, all right. Mohammed, tell me this. Uh, did you think that less than hit you with any kind of shot that that maybe hurt you and he whacked toward the body. No, he hit at my body, but he hit my arms instead. He hit your arms instead. I'm you a little too fast, Steve, to be hit by some You, you like seemed very confident at the beginning. Why were you that confident coming out? I'm confident out? because Allah's with me and his messenger, Elijah Muhammad. All right, now, you Muhammad, know, tell, me, tell me this. What, did you really knock him out with the left hook and the right smash? Well, I would like to see the videotape if you have it. All right, do we have the videotape? Yes, we do. All right, we have the videotape, and let's try for viewers all over the world see what we had. Beautiful footwork. I was getting ready to come in there with a pretty right, but he was in the way. He was in the way. Yes, I must say this was an easy payday. My shape was so good, uh, it really surprised me. I came in at Now you're going to hit him. Watch closely. Watch closely. Is it a right-hand counter? You tell us what it is. I think it was a right-hand counter, not the left hook that you talked about a while ago. Well, didn't I tell you that Liston said in my poem, I uh, want the world to know that I apologize. This kid is so fast, he can't be touched, you know. Now watch this. That's watch closely. He's still the aggressor, at least moving towards you. This now. is scientific action, you feel. I'm a creative fighter, just throwing a, taking my time and watching him knock him out. The man is a little afraid. All of this talk about somebody coming in the arena with bombs and machine guns scared him to death. It didn't scare me, but it scared him. Well, now, uh, Bogini, there it is. That was the right-hand counter. Let's watch it. Let's watch it for him again. A right-hand counter, as I saw it. Steve, you have never saw the real Muhammad Ali. I haven't had time to warm up yet. You haven't? I haven't had time to just sit down. Let, let's look at it again. Now, that right hand was good. He aims toward the belly. He hit you under the heart there. Yeah, I didn't feel it. You didn't? No, let's watch it. I thank Allah for his messenger, Elijah Muhammad, for giving me the confidence to conquer all of this spirit right, now, they tried to put in me here tonight. Now, I don't want to overlook this, it. Describe this to us. Here he's coming towards you. He's moving in. You counter, I think. I know I blocked, just blocked that right hand with my elbow. See, I'm, you notice my guard is down. I can't be hit because I have split sock and timing with footwork and head work. All right, now watch it. Here it goes, in my opinion, as I look back. Halfway through this first round, or a little better, He's off balance. I'm, I'm glad you're showing this in slow motion. I see why now. So fast, I, go, I don't guess you can see me in real action. Are you're too tough for me. You're too tough for me to see.
here. Let's be looking closely. Long time in slow motion for this to happen. Right up, you guys. Who the hell is it? What? No. The right, right hand. hand. Right hand. The right hand hurt him. Right hand. Right hand. No. What was it? Right here. Right here. Right here. Did you think he was getting up? Oh, I don't. I, I knew he would fall early, but I wanted it to be about a, three or four minutes later. Why are you standing over? I'm Muhammad? trying to tell the bum to get up and fight. Why are you doing that? Money. Tell me why. That was ABC's exclusive slow motion videotape coverage of the fight. We'll be back with the knockout in slow motion and again from a different camera angle in just a minute. Now once again, here is the knockout in slow motion. Just that time you saw the blow cleanly. Now observe closely the extraordinary sequence of events that follows. the refusal of the champion to go to a neutral corner. Now he apparently departs. Second, the attempt of Liston to arise. Apparently he is unable to do so. Third, note the champion prancing about the ring. He has still not gone to a neutral corner. actually resumes. Fifth, as it does, the referee departs to answer a call from the official knockdown timekeepers. and still has reflexes. Note the way he ducks the clay barrage. And seventh, Jersey Joe Walcott returns. He has been advised that Liston has been down for 10 seconds and more and declares Muhammad Ali the winner. And now at regular speed, here is the other camera angle we mentioned earlier. Clay will be on your left as he renders the knockout blow. saw it once again. Now before we go to Robert Riga, let's listen to some post-fight comments by Liston and Muhammad Ali. What happened when well, you tried to get up? You think the fight would stop before it should have Well, uh, only thing, I was trying to pick up the count. He was what? trying to pick up the count. Did you hear the count? Did you know? No, what? I didn't. You didn't hear the count. No, he didn't hear the count, didn't know what it was. There was no count, he couldn't hear it. Was there a punch thrown before the right hand? No. How powerful was the punch, in your opinion? It was fair. Hey, wait a minute. What is this? Fair punch. Fair punch. Fair punch. Fair punch. Said it was a fair punch. Sonny, did the punch surprise you? Clay says, yes, Clay says it was a new tactic, the counter right. It was a surprising punch. Uh, if you had picked up the count, would you have been able to continue? Yes, I would. If he picked up the count, he would be able to continue. Myself, I think so. Yes. Well, I would say the number one contender, uh, Terrell, either one, yeah. Uh, Chavalo, either, but it don't make no difference. I'm in a position now where I can't squawk. Who's now? I might have to fight you. <laughs> in a position now where he can't squawk, you have to fight anybody. You seem to be in good humor. You hear it, Lester? Yeah. Ain't no use saying the sense of being in bad humor. 
Sonny, do you feel a disappointment at all? What actually are you? Yes, feeling? I do. I feel real disappointed. I think it was because of um, my main point was to get it, get him, and get it over with. What was your plan? Were you going to try and get him early, or, I, I or stay with him? Well, I was going. In boxing, when the championship of the world is at stake, defeat without punishment always creates doubts in the minds of the fans. I guess that's because of the great fighters we've had down through the years, the great fights, and the great pictures of those fights. Like this one, the day Jack Dempsey gave a tremendous beating to Gibbons in Shelby, Montana in 1923. Or this one, when Rocky Marciano won his world championship in the 13th round with his tremendous right hand to Jersey Joe Walcott's chin. There was never any doubt about this punch or about Marciano causing the damage. Or in the two fights with Ezra Charles and the tremendous punishment Charles took and Marciano's battered face. It was all there for everyone to see. But in Lewiston, Maine, in the last heavyweight championship fight between Liston and Clay, there was a great deal of doubt. This is the first punch of the fight. Clay throwing a right hand over Liston's left jab. This is Clay's second right hand, the one many people thought was the best punch of the evening. It, it caught Liston on the chin, but he kept on fighting. And this sequence shows precisely what happened and how the punch in question was landed. Clay was circling to his left, as he always did, in the first fight and in this fight. Then Sonny Liston threw a 17th jab. He was short with it. He missed on all 17 jabs of the fight. You'll notice Clay's hands. Both his gloves are below his belt. He's circling to his left, on his toe, and then suddenly he brings his right hand up over Liston's jab and connects on the side of Liston's head. He's pushing off his rear foot. His power is coming all through his body. He has every intention of landing the blow. Liston crumples. His gloves come together, and now if you look at Clay's feet, he's swinging to the right. He seems to be off balance, but the punch has landed. And then he follows through with the left hook, but of course it misses as Liston goes down. This is the punch which so many people did not see. Another question is, for a man like Liston, who had never been floored before, how can one punch like this put him down? Especially Exactly what he does. Now there's Liston down. Now we're going to be going to Jersey Joe. See him looking over there? What would you have well, done? Well, if you notice, he's got a little difficulty he, there with Clay yelling and making motions. But he didn't that. even go to Clay. Uh, well, he probably don't know where the knockdown timekeeper is sitting and he probably doesn't hear what he's saying and he's going over to find out what's going on. It That's the way it was that May 25th, 1965 in Lewiston, Maine in a high school hockey rink where they had a heavyweight championship fight. The big questions remain unanswered. Yes, there was a punch, but was it of sufficient force to knock out a man who had never been floored before? What about the referee, Jersey Joe Walcott, and his total confusion? Incidentally, Jersey Joe was invited to appear on this show, but was unavailable. Had he counted, could Liston have been up in time? Did Liston really, for that matter, get a fair shot? And what about all of the other bizarre circumstances attendant upon the fight? The way it got for his constituents. Well, some say this was the end of boxing. Congress may bring in a federal boxing Some states want to wipe out boxing. But this may, in fact, have been a new beginning. Because Floyd Patterson, now in Sweden, says he's been promised a fight in the fall. And right now, there's a man in the ring, George Chavallo, and there he is, who wants to fight the heavyweight champion. He's ready at that moment. He may get the next shot. Indeed, this may be a new beginning. That's the story of the big fight. Muhammad Ali against Everybody Sonny Liston. What about next week on Wide World of Sports? The executive producer of ABC's Wide World of Sports is Rune Ollage. The Clay Liston segment was produced for ABC 
by Jim Spence and Jim Colligan and directed by Marshall Diskin, Bob Delaney and John Sedwick. Par لا تنسوا الإعجاب بالفيديو والاشتراك في القناة تشجيعا لنا لنستمر بنشر المزيد إن شاء الله